think it's one of the the best renders that we have seen of what Project Highland could look like. Oh, it looks like some some different headlamps. Doesn't necessarily look like a major feature content. It's hard to tell just looking through the lens of the lamp, uh, but of the lamp, it looks like mm -hmm. just a different iteration of it, newer, maybe better LEDs, something along those lines. But specifically looking at this like lower region here, right, and some of the air inlets. One, I don't see a dedicated pocket, at least on this fascia variant, for fog lamps, right? So that mm -hmm. could be a cost reduction. Mm -hmm. And it also may speak to why there's different headlamps, right? So some OEMs are exploring the idea, for sure, of integrating a fog lamp-like function into the bottom of their, their daytime running lights, you know, mm -hmm. or their conventional headlamps to provide that um, versus having a separate run, right? So it's going to require a different harness, take out some different fascia accommodations. And then often you'll see folks have that be an option based on trim levels. Drive Tesla Canada today reporting that these two sets of wheels are going to be the new wheels on the updated Model 3. Uh, so obviously these would be matte black versus, you know, right now we've got more of the aluminum wheels on the Model 3, at least in the United States. And um, similar style here on the larger wheels, uh, a little bit different in terms of, you know, what the aero, uncapped aero wheels look like. Uh, I think they've got a photo of those here to compare to. Yeah, so you can see pretty similar there, except for the, the coloring, uh, and then a little bit more of a, a change on the aero wheels. Uh, presumably these ones would also have a cap, but I don't know, kind of tough to tell with uh, what we're seeing here. So again, all of these I, I would put in the rumor category, but uh, we seem to be starting to see quite a bit more information on Highland. But all right, so now we're looking, so this would be like a front door uh, inner trim piece. I know right off the bat, so it looks like we got the older one here, the newer one here. First thing that jumps out is, so there was a trim band up here. It's absent in this photo. There's just showing where the spear would be, but obviously that's gone. So you'd say, okay, there's some cost coming out. But you can see they've changed up some of these cut lines and it looks like some of the textiles as well. So I believe there's another shot that shows that this is kind of more of a fabric wrap here. Right. I know at one point Alcantara was an option, Alcantara suede up in this armband. And if not that, then it was at least wrapped. Um, we're also seeing uh, what looks like potentially a tweeter speaker grill uh, located here, which I've seen some stuff talking about uh, maybe an improved speaker system, but it's hard to know. So Tesla Chan on X noting that according to local China, China news, uh, Model 3 Highland trial test production is over. So you can take that obviously different, different ways, but presumably based on some other rumors that we have heard in the past, the trial production was, you know, the period of time before they would put it into full scale production. Uh, which again, according to some of those rumors, seem to be targeted for September. There's more rumors, of course, of maybe some sort of an announcement on Friday. Uh, so trial production testing, trial test production ending before then um, could be a good sign that maybe that remains on track. So we'll see. One of the most notable changes is the removal of the traditional gear shift and control stalks on the steering column, which have been replaced with capacitive touch buttons. This departure from the conventional control layout is a bold move for Tesla and alters the basic user interface of the vehicle. The left-hand control stalk, usually responsible for activating turn signals and headlights, is now replaced with touch-sensitive buttons on the steering wheel. These capacitive touch buttons also control wipers and the horn, allowing for a more streamlined and futuristic steering wheel design. The new steering wheel, previously introduced in the Model S and Model X, features a distinctive yoke-like shape. While the original yoke design was met with mixed reviews, Tesla eventually compromised by releasing an updated version that resembles a traditional wheel shape.